Okay, this is question four of HSC 2009. Uh, this question, most of the, uh, for the first four parts are easy. Most students were stuck on the last part. So I will quickly go over the first three parts. Um, now, for the first part, we want to prove that triangle AMP is similar to triangle ABC. As you can see, angle A is common, and angle APM is equal to angle ACB, which is given. So these two triangles are similar because they are equal angular. Part two, what is the ratio of AP to AC? As you can see, AM to AB equals to a half. So AP to AC would also equal to a half because corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Okay, for part three, prove that triangle AMC is isosceles. The first thing you need to do is join MC. Now to show that triangle AMC is isosceles, the first thing you need to do is prove that triangle APM and CPM are congruent. Now as you can see, AP would equal to CP because from the previous part, part two, the ratio of AP to AC equal to a half. So AP to must equal to PC. And we have PM, which is common. And also we have another angle, which is angle APM equals to angle CPM because both equals to 90 degrees. So these two triangles here are congruent because of SAS. Hence, AM equal to CM because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangles, so they must be equal. Therefore, triangle AMC must be an isosceles triangle. Okay, so from the previous part, part three, we can label this as equal. Now for part four, that's quite easy. You just need to show it on your diagram and label it. Show that triangle ABC can be divided into two isosceles triangles. Clearly, you can see that we have two isosceles triangles here. One is triangle AMC and the other one is triangle C and B. Both are isosceles triangles. For part five, the question asks you to copy this triangle into your booklet and show that you can form four isosceles triangles. Now for part five, most students were stuck on this question because it's quite an odd question. Now they were unable to link the previous part to this. So you can see that how can we construct four isosceles triangles? Now from the previous part, we can see that in this triangle, we constructed two isosceles triangles. So let's um, put that diagram into here. And how do we do that? First of all, label this triangle as A, B, C. And the next thing you do is you need to construct a perpendicular line from A to BC. Maybe label this as D. Okay, and to form two associated triangles, that's what we had done before. We would label this as M and P. And from the previous part, we've shown that these two lines are equal. These are equal. And if you join MB, this line will also be equal to AM and MB. So, as you can see, we just form two isosceles triangle, which is A and B and B and B. Now to do the other part, you just do exactly the same thing for the other triangle. So you will extend MP and label this as N. And you can see that if you join M, B, then A, N, NC and ND are equal to each other. So now again we have two um, isosceles triangle, which is C and D and A and B. So now we form four isosceles triangles.